Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. As I promise, today I have with me the new Skoda Octavia Combi 2020 model, Skoda Octavia 4 uh, Combi or, or Estate, the way you want to call it. And I will make an in-depth full review with this car right now and I will show you all the details, interior, exterior. I will give you the price and all the information of this new uh, beautiful beautiful Skoda Octavia in my opinion guys stay tuned because it's one of the best car if not the best car in this class and as it was the previous version the best sell car in Europe uh, in this class this one will be for sure the same because wow it, it was really impressed me the quality the details the materials the safety features and all that stuff uh, are really impressive for the price and we will go through together um, and yeah then we will talk at the end so uh, let's do it guys by the way if you are in Switzerland or around Switzerland you want to buy a Skoda you want to test drive a Skoda or you want to see the new Skoda Octavia you can go at Amag Soloturn Skoda uh, they have amazing check out on the Google they have amazing amazing service nice people uh, great price and there you can see the cars so let's go guys So first time guys, I just want to start with the exterior of the car and I just want to show you this new Matrix LED lights. Right now we have the blinkers on. I want to show you the blinkers first time, the way they look, but inside the high bin, the low bin, everything it's LED light, Matrix LED light, adaptive bin and uh, they, are, they are simply uh, amazing in the night. Also down here we have the fog lamps, LED light as well and uh, also the daylight when the blinkers are off the daylights would run i will show you in the moment uh, when we go there and also uh, first time i want to i want to just let you for a second to enjoy this view uh, the way it looks also let's go to the mirrors right here we have also led light on the mirrors uh, also very nice design uh, the mirrors have beautiful design with these sharp edges. They take those sharp edges from Audi and they implement in the Skoda cars. A little bit of plastic mat down here and uh, in the interior also beautiful design. The edges, the sharp edges uh, look super nice on the, on the mirrors. The blind spot technology is somewhere there. The same as on the Audi. I think you can see it in the reflection. It's right there. Uh, it's a it's a, a light that light up. I will show you also later. You can check out my drive test with the new Skoda Octavia. There you can see it better. And in the back, look at this. Look how beautiful they are. Those um, turn signals, uh, blinkers, the way I call them. Uh, we have the following turn signal, and they look gorgeous, gorgeous. Also full LED light in the back as well. Let me turn it on for a second. Here is the place where you can turn this on uh, just like 
just like that right now they are turning it on and you can see the LED light right there on the tail light as well in the night they look super super nice you have to see this uh, this car in the night uh, it has amazing ambient light also in the interior and also in the exterior so uh, they look super nice they have this nice design you can see how nice the sharp edges the way they, they design it it's, it's really impressive and also you can see here the Skoda crystal lightning the newest technology and also it look like kind of crystals here on the side um, they design it pretty pretty nice now let me go inside and let me close the the lights guys because I want to keep the battery uh, for a while and just close the blinkers from here pretty simple and then let's close the door as well but actually let me give you the the information about the car the price and all that stuff first time and then we will go forward so we have the new Skoda Octavia style right here and um, we have two liter engine 150 horsepower four cylinder today we have the diesel uh, version right here the seven gearbox DSG uh, I will show you also later we have the wireless shifter uh, you will see a little bit later the starting price of this car it's 38,000 francs the same kind of the same in dollar a little bit less in euro you can check out on the internet the color if you're interested titan blue metallic blue metallic titan blue metallic and the interior it's uh, black black in the interior we don't have leather we have these fabric materials but they are fabulous I mean they are so relaxing while you're driving they are so nice design they are big they have huge space here for for everybody I mean they are so big and you don't have any back pain or stuff like that you can adjust it in many ways I will show you later but this this model right here that I'm drive that I was driving and you can see the test drive on the internet on my on my um, channel you can check it out uh, it's 42,000 francs 900 because it adds some kind of extra features for example we have the 10 inch display right here the newest this one this is the 10 inch display let me open up for you from here uh, this is the 10 inch display you have another option 8 inch display it's kind of smaller but it's still the great graphics the same graphics the same things as this one and also we have the newest this uh, cockpit right here I will show you later as well also I will do a review on my channel check it out later and all that that you can read it I don't want to make it so long you can read all the option that uh, this car also have it and uh, yeah anyway uh, here is also the the price uh, of this kind of driving mode selection for example you can change the modes from here you have different driving modes I will show you I'll make another review with that I don't want to make so long this video we have 1677 kilograms on this car around 5.7 liter the consumption and the consumption is really real because I see before there was 5.7 in the last 300 kilometers so it's quite there CO2 141 CO2 in the A class a class anyway good I think you get the information about the price and all that stuff let me go out uh, and let me show you the lines of the car and something that I like very much they take from a Woody guys if you see this this kind of shape there around the windows they are the same as on the a Woody the back of the car it's really similar that what you find on the uh, combi estate cars Audi and I like this chrome design around the windows it's really beautiful it fit perfectly with the car in my impression in my opinion and also big windows here that mean you have a great visibility from the exterior nice big windows I like the chrome here even that many people doesn't like it I like very much the chrome I think it fits perfect with the car also the lines the shapes here on the side look gorgeous nice shapes and you can see the shapes continuing in the back uh, the way it comes and they look super impressive the Skoda writing look look also nice here guys I don't know about you but I like the way they they write Skoda we have Octavia writing there uh, on the side then going a little bit down reverse camera LED light on the number plate also pretty awesome the wipers right here in the back and then we have the uh, braking LED light 
beautiful spoiler roof spoiler up here with some glossy uh, black plastic that make the aerodynamic of the car much better and I like the way they design this roof um, spoiler also the radio antenna right there you can add on the roof some extra storage right here if you want to carry more things you have a big family you want to carry big things you can do that as well also we have this if you look closely this kind of um, reflection for the night when the other cars uh, are in the back they can see you better because the light will reflect from this parts here nice design nice lines here on the side you can see how nice they designed the bumper uh, the only thing that I wonder why they do that is that we have only four parking sensors in the front and also four parking sensors in the back as you can see here four parking sensors usually they should be six another one on the side but yeah I guess this is not a big problem uh, anyway for me not and I like the bumper I like how simple is the bumper and I like that down here we don't have any exhaust pipe the exhaust pipe is actually down there so you can see it better there is the exhaust pipe and here we have just a black uh, black 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 plastic uh, it's much better like that I think the car look much better in this way and I like very much the exterior design here on the right side we have also the diesel and the add blue it's right here uh, and all that tank stuff it's simple to open very simple very nice also the side here guys down here I want to show you something really cool down here they add some plastic you can see this plastic really protected the paint this paint here this wheel will throw a lot of stones right here in this area and this plastic will protect it in time it's the rust will not come so easy so they did a great job with that other than that down here we have the normal paint the normal paint job not any plastic or something and also we have some protection down here as you can see for the wheel also we have the aerodynamic right here I don't know if you can see it yes because in the front we will go now in the front and I'll show you the mirrors you already see it uh, when you go in the front you will see that we have here some air intakes that help the aerodynamic of the car so the air will come in the front around there yeah inside the bumper around the wheel and that help a lot the aerodynamic of the car and also the the front design is beautiful we have here some chrome design some air intakes down there then we have the the, the grill it's not so much different from the previous version and also the Skoda logo in the middle and some chrome design around uh, the grill the grill is glossy black plastic and right here we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety uh, features uh, as I told you here we have the parking sensors on the side and the wipers for the the, um, the headlamps and um, other than that I think this is the front of the car another cool stuff that I like is the lines look at the lines on the hood pretty nice sharp edges lines beautiful lines I like them very much I like the way they design it and also there is the camera and the raining sensors the camera that help with lane assist and reading the traffic speed limit and all that stuff all right guys in the front we have the brake discs ventilated brake discs let me go in the back ventilated brake discs brake caliper right there great big brakes perfect and also in the back brake discs ventilated brake disc and all that stuff we have the 17 inch rims right here 205 55 17 inch rims and also this come kind of standard you can take take the 19 inch rims they look much better you can check out on the Skoda website they will look fantastic on the car they will make the car look much better but this one they are more economic and much better in my opinion I really recommend this um, I like the way they look and also they are simple economical and great for the suspension you feel much more comfortable in the uh, in the 17 ones than in the 19 
once. The cool fact is that the, the hood, the engine hood, you will open it until here, guys. You can see how crazy it is. Like the Arteon, Volkswagen Arteon. So before it was until here, but nowadays the car company changed it until here. I don't know why Volkswagen and Skoda want to go like that. I will open up the hood for you to see this great engine. Also here is the head-up display directly on the windscreen. The head-up display look fabulous. Wow, it is amazing. I love it. It's the same. Uh, it's the, the, the greatest technology. It's, it looks so nice. I don't want to get dirty on my hands. Wow, and this is automatic. I like that. It's not manual. It's automatic as well. And you can see they open up until here. I don't know why they go like that. Guys, write me, tell me why they do like that. And also, they open up from until there. Pretty awesome. This is the diesel engine, two liter, 150 horsepower. We have here the diesel filter, the battery, big battery that helped the start-stop engine, the fuse box, the, fil the air filter right here. This is the, the water for the wipers, also the liquid for the brakes or the engine. I don't know, I don't remember. Well, anyway, something like that. No big deal for most of you. Um, let me close this. So pretty simple to close this hood. And now, guys, we will go in the interior. I want to go in the back to show you the interior. It's completely new. It's really different from what we see in the previous version. It's so simple. Just press the button, automatic. Um, lift gear here in the back. I don't know if you can do it from the button. Let me try it. Hold the button. Oh yes, it's working. Just hold the button and then the trunk, it will close up. Super awesome. I didn't expect in this price to have also this one. Press the button. Woo, nice. Great job, Skoda. I really like this car. Also here, no handles, guys. I don't know why they go like that. No handles, it's just a button. You lock the car, you press the button, you close the car. But look at this, look how big it is. I don't know if you can see it. It's such a huge, huge trunk. And you can take this also out just like that. One more time and then you can take it out without any problem from there. If you want to carry big items, take it out. And then look at this. We have a flat floor, I love that. Really flat, a little bit of plastic here, but a flat floor, you have all that things here that help you out um, if you wanna carry different stuffs. And it's such a big, big, big trunk. We have hooks in every corner. Uh, here you have the triangle. You have a lot of space here in the left side and down here as well. And then in the right side as well, a lot of space we have here. I think a hook hooks around down here a 12 volt port or not 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 yes we have a 12 volt port in the trunk wow great great job and also this button for the hook wow i really didn't expect that let me try it press the button and the hook is out you have to press it just a little bit out it's come it's ready put it down press the button and it will go down and then you just press it just like that it's ready Whew, i like that i like the car i really like it also those hooks around here in the left in the right side pretty awesome and then here it's for folding down the seats i will show you in the moment but let's see what it's under here under the floor we have another floor 10 centimeter you can put it there wow pretty cool and then if we look under the under, we have another space with repair kit and all that stuff. Oh, pretty big. I love it. Great job, Skoda. You did a great job folding down the seats. Look how easy it is. You just, you are here in the back, fold it down, put your stuff in. Super awesome. And you can carry big, big mobile parts. You can go to Ikea and then you can put all the stuff here that you get in the house. Uh, it's pretty awesome in my opinion. Super, super big space here. Really impressive. Let me go on the side. 
let, let me see how the things look like. From, wow, look at the look at the entrance. It's such a big entrance in the car. Super nice entrance. You have a hook here to put your stuff. Then you have plenty of space on the legs here. Look at that, guys. Wow, they, they make it with five centimeter bigger here in the back. It's quite impressive. I could go inside the car just like that. Look at this. Super amazing. Wow. Great, great, great again. Really great. Really a lot of space. And, well, I don't know. You tell me what you think about that. It's quite impressive. And also on the roof here we have LED lights. Just touch it. It's like a touch screen, you see? Just put your finger here and then it's open up. Awesome. There you have a hook and a handle to hold it up. I like the white roof. I love the white roof. Guys, if you see my reviews, I like, I always like the white roof. Nice quality, soft material, the same as on the Volkswagen Golf. It's really good, good quality there. I like that, really like it. And the flat floor and the space here in the back. Put it again, put it back, it's so simple. You just do it like that and it's back again. And then here we have some plastic on the side. Let me close this first time, let me go. Let me close the trunk, it's super easy. Let's go inside here. We have fabric material, but you know Volkswagen, Skoda, this Volkswagen group, these guys make fantastic seats. They are awesome, even if they are not leather, you can see they are super nice. The stitches, the, the nice design, we have Isofix for kids right here, pretty simple to use and uh, fabric material everywhere. They are kind of big and we will see how good we feel inside there. We have here the cup holders. How do I open up? Just like that. Look at those cup holders, pretty awesome. And then you can carry even skis or long items in the middle. Awesome, I love that. Now the bump in the middle, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, I see smaller. But I think it's not a problem because you have plenty of space. We will go there and we'll, we'll see in the moment. Here we have a space, soft material behind the front seat. Super nice, it feels nice, it looks nice. And I like this chrome inside the car. It looks so nice, guys. I don't know about you, but I like this chrome. I like the way it looks. Finally, something different. They look better than in the BMW, uh, to be honest. Also, the here we have a space, here we have a space. Where is the USB port? It's no here, no USB. Why no USB? I don't know, no USB here. All right, good. Now, the windows are huge. It's only this window is super huge. And we have another one here. They make it like that, uh, that these windows can fall down all the way all the way down so the, the windows will go all the way down the material on the doors in the back it's kind of a plastic but i like the design i like the trim i don't know if you can see the trim it's looking nice looking i don't even if you look from here you don't know what is there you, you know you think you it's soft material anyway i love those handles they are so fancy Look how fancy, look how nice they are. Look how cool they integrate this speaker right there in the back. Such a nice, such a nice design. I like it. And here we have, uh, again, some plastic. I didn't know that. It looked like leather because here is leather, guys. Here it's soft, look at that. And here it looks the same like here. So if you don't touch it, you don't know what it is. You feel, you, you think it's leather. You think it's soft material. So the designer, great job for the designer. Also here, it's a speaker and hold, again, some nice design, nice lines. We have the button for the windows. Here we have some plastic, again, another speaker and some storage space here. Pretty big storage space and soft material here. Soft material, pretty nice. Let's go inside. <laughs> Let's do the test. But these seats are way, way in the back. You can see the seats are way in the back. Usually they should be a little bit in the front. Let me close the door and let me see the space here. S still have plenty of space, but the seats should be a little bit in the front. But I still have place, still can stretch my legs under the front seat. 
and I feel good. I feel good here. The space on my head, ho oh, oh, ho, huge space. Nice, nice, I feel good. I feel like I, I can drive many miles, many kilometers like that. And the visibility, it's, you have to say it, it's fantastic. Look how big is the visibility, how big are the windows. Even in the back, we have a big window there. Perfect, visibility, perfect. Comfort, very good, really good. Let's go in the middle. We have a big bump in the middle here. And then this bump, uh, I wish it was smaller, but look at the space. Here in the right side, almost stretch my hand. Right side, stretch my hand there. Three people, no problem. Head space, good. L knee space, it's super good, no problem. But here we have a big bump. Uh, this is the only problem other than that. It's super, super a lot of space and very nice. Um, we will go in the front now. Just want to show you how beautiful the design. I think it's one of the most beautiful, in my opinion, dashboard these days. The, the steering wheel is it's superb, fantastic. Look at the new multimedia system, the design, the lines uh, that they do on the dashboard. It's super, super impressive and I like it very much. I don't know about you, but uh, I like it. I really like it. Let's go in the front. All right, guys, before we go in the front, I forget to tell you, we have the keyless entrance in the car. So look at that. Electric mirrors, electric folding mirrors, but you can do that from all four doors. Not only the driver, everybody can open up the door. Just put it the hand here and then the car is open up. Pretty awesome. Now let's go inside. Ah, by the way, another thing. Hear that, guys. Just, just hear it. Hear that. You can hear that. What do you think about that? The quality of the doors, it's much better. They do a great job with the quality. When you close the door, they hear so nice. Big, nice visibility on the uh, windows. It's one piece, great visibility. There is the blind spot that I told you before. This time, impressive in the front, we have soft material on the door. Right here, the same trim as in the back. You can see the trim. And if you touch it, if you push it, it's soft material all over here. Then we have the same nice design right here. You can see the same nice design with little holes and the same chrome design with the handle. Who looks so nice. And here we have leather, soft material, this part here soft material not as in the back in the front doors much better quality much softer design look leather here here we have the kind of the speaker guys right here it's a speaker and all that design just for the speaker and another speaker down here and big big huge huge space storage space it's huge soft material the button for opening the trunk even from here, from the exterior. And also we have a light here. When you open up the door, the people in the back with the cars can see your doors. And I think it's almost raining outside. And here the car have an, uh, an umbrella. Uh, this car doesn't have it anymore. I think someone take it, but here usually it's an umbrella in the door when it's raining. So in the interior, Octavia, logo right here pretty nice um, then we have manual adjustable seats on this model right here you can see they're very simple you can adjust it but the design it's super nice they are big enough um, and they have this side support and they are soft i drive the car uh, and you don't feel any pain uh, the, the the seats are fantastic let me throw this down there because you cannot see so well the seats so now you can see it better. All right, pretty nice. I love the seats, great quality. Also here we have leather and armrest, super nice stitches. You can also adjust it, look at that. You can adjust it the way you want it, that's good. You can open it up and then we have a space here. Oh, pretty big, I like that. Then some space here, electric handbrake, auto hold. Wow, I love that, two cup holders. Pretty nice, open up, close up, 
and then here we have a nice design we have plastic here but really the trim is super nice i think you can see it from close up normal pedals here you have a space where you can put your stuff and here you can play with your lights you can play with the lights from here uh, this is the new design no more wheels <laughs> just buttons and i like them fog light also here uh, here down here we have pl uh, not plastic we have soft material look at this look how soft it is and also here look how nice is this trim I like this white trim it look nice and then we have soft material on the dashboard some stitches here I love the vents man the vents are super cool I like the way they integrate this right there look at closer look how nice they look I really like them let me go inside let me go inside the car and let me close the door and here we have soft material on the dashboard we have the head-up display i will try to show you a little bit later uh, it's really awesome then we have the speaker soft material everywhere great visibility from the driver point of view let me show you just like that the the, the visibility it's amazing you see great in the mirrors great big windows big big windows great visibility in the mirror right here in the middle also around the car big windows great visibility guys uh, i tell you uh, i know those skoda cars are the the best uh, cars the best space car and visibility uh, look here you have a glass support and you have the sos button pretty big and you have this nice touchscreen button that it doesn't work why it doesn't work let me start that you can see you touch it how nice they are i really like them i don't know about you but i like them and then you have here off light you can open up from here you have service information and all that stuff passenger airbag behind here you have the camera and all that new safety system for the lane assist and reading the traffic sign i like this led light and the mirror super nice good quality also handle good quality on the roof oh the hood it's open i have to close it up a little bit later but now let me show you uh the design of the dash so you go here you have the star stop engine button really nice position it soft material right here on the dash a little bit of chrome design right here on the side i like the way they integrate the vents are down here and the air come perfectly down to your stomach and not in your face so i like that i like better when the vents are a little bit downer and also you can adjust it the way you want it so it's pretty cool uh, and then you have the buttons you can set the different things for example here uh, but i will show you later i don't want to go in this kind of discussion about the multimedia system i will go later but i like the way they put also this white this is a plastic but it looks very nice the trim it's nice the way they design it and also the soft material right here on the dashboard look nice uh, pretty awesome you have also a speaker on the a pillar there now let me go down here pretty much space also you have a space for your book up there then you have a refrigerated glow box so you can keep your stuff cold and then you have the big space in the glow box the glow box it's pretty big i like it then going forward down here guys you have the wireless charging the two usb-c ports pretty big space to put your stuff there and then going a little bit down and my favorite part in this car is this wireless shifter look how small it is it's my my it's big uh, half of my finger and then it has some nice chrome design there uh, and some glossy plastic and it's so so easy to to look at that so cool so small this wireless shifter the new one from Volkswagen it's awesome great job guys great job I, I really love it uh, I want my car to have this on it going to the st steering wheel uh, also I don't know I forget to show you these buttons uh, and electric adjustable mirrors and the buttons for electric windows then going forward this is the same as on the Volkswagen the previous one good quality we have the pedals to change the gear 
uh, manually guys if you want to change it manually you can do it from the steering wheel the steering wheel it's one of the pieces that i love on this car it's so beautiful look at it look how nice the, the quality it's awesome leather stitches it looks nice it feels nice when you touch it and also the design the way they design it's one of the most beautiful steering wheel on the market today look at this look at the skoda logo look at those they feel like in a mercedes you know they look the same good as in the mercedes like in a premium car look at the nice design here you can adjust the different settings on the multimedia system they look so nice and then you have down here nothing it's just two and here's nothing it's just some glossy plastic and um, chrome design in the right side you can play with the uh, adaptive cruise control you can change the different settings on the screen there i will show you later um, it's pretty pretty awesome and um yeah the multimedia system i will have to show you also the the quality of the seats they are so big so nice you have a great great position of driving and sitting here on the seat um, but let me go to close the hood and then i will show you the multimedia system all right guys i'm back so good you can see also the the nice um, graphics on the screen when you close the car super awesome and you can see all the the information about the last driving and when you open up the car let me show you again you press the the start uh, engine button and then the car will start but now i want to start the car for you for a second press the brake and the engine starts right now and i want to show you i promise i want to show you the head-up display look at the head-up display you can see it right there you have the navigation information, the speed information, and the cruise control information. Uh, in my opinion, it looks superb, very nice. It's the newest technology on head-up display, so it looks super. If you're not uh, happy with him, we have right here the big new infotainment system, digital uh, infotainment system, cockpit, pardon, sorry, active cockpit. And then here on the wheels, on the steering wheel, you can change the different function. You can adjust, you can see how to look forward, backward. You can change different stuff. You can see it just like that, adaptive cruise control. You can see the wheels, the speed. You can customize it the way you want it. So that's, that's pretty cool that you can customize uh, this screen right there and you can put wherever you want to see there. So it's super awesome. You can you can change it and, and make it the way you want. Uh, you can see also right there on the right side the information about the car, the north suit, and also it's super super cool. So you can see also the right side. You can adjust it. It's pretty impressive. Um, I really like it. I really enjoy to see that. Also you can change there on the side. You can go like that and you can have the assistance systems right there, the ACC. Uh, you can have the auto parking assist and the front assistant, uh, adaptive cruise control lane assist. You can choose whatever you want to adjust there. You can also see uh, the different uh, settings. Let me go out from here, just like that. And then here you can choose what you like to see in the middle. So the temperature, the ACC, how many kilometers you can still drive it, and you can choose the right side as well. And it's quite, quite impressive. So I like that. This is the new infotainment system, and it's it's gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. It's one of the best. The same good as on Audi. What you find on Audi, you find here on the Skoda and also on the Volkswagen. So these together multimedia systems one of the best on the market here is pretty simple you have some buttons down here where you can go plus and minus minus also you have some gesture control to the screen i don't want to go into detail i don't know how many people use that but you have these buttons right here when you go to set down here you press the set one time and then you go here start stop settings the the, the tires information you have the 
uh, driving assistance here you can activate deactivate all that stuff directly from here from the screen you have the list here with all that safety settings you can turn it on and turn it off the way you want it it's super simple to do that you have everything right here on your screen then you go to the mode change the mode and you go to echo we have three driving modes you can buy this as an option for the car you go to normal echo sport and individual so you can drive the way you want it then you have the assist right here the assist is the camera you have a reverse camera of course and then you have also those sparking sensors and stuff right here uh, integrated so you can choose the way you want it right here you have um, the different views in the back the way you want to see the camera and also uh, pretty impressive and also the parking sensors now then you go the blinkers lock the car the clima right here you press the clima you go to the climatic system you can turn it on and from here you can adjust the climatic system the way you want it uh, it's pretty simple once you learn all that settings it's pretty simple to adjust everything you want inside the car and also you have you can see here uh, we have all kind of um, different uh, option to do that i don't want to go into detail too much then you have maximum and uh, in the real defrigerate the screw the, the 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 window in the back so here you have also some kind of shortcuts up here i will show you later let me close the climatic system let me go here we have two buttons home button when you go to home button um, you can see all that information let me close the engine and let me show you now you can you can go to menu and then in the menu you have all kind of information here guys you have the setup where you can change the language the time the the way you want to see the screen in miles kilometers and all that information then you have the date then all that stuff here uh, when you go to the next one username here you have kind of a uh, information about the menu you can learn it and uh, i don't want to go into details it's so complicated we have also this uh, option to speak with the car if you want if you want to speak with the car you have this voice command and stuff like that i don't like it as well i don't use it too much assistant systems you see it before i don't want to go in detail set up set up you see it before the telephone here you can connect your telephone pretty simple the shop you can do shops online far so here it's information about the car but if you start the engine you can see that also the information of the car the consumption for the last 50 kilometer the consumption for the last 266 kilometer you can see the consumption it's quite good uh, for uh, this car and yeah also another uh, information about the car and here if you have um, for example all kind of um, errors to the car and the things that you can do also here you can see information about the car and you can change different settings the lights and the way you want to put it inside outside the head-up display so you can change different settings on the head-up display right here it's pretty simple i don't want to get in detail because i will make a full review with this multimedia system just for you guys and then you have the ambient light in the interior of the car of course the car have ambient light here um, and you can change the colors and stuff like that i think um, they are pretty awesome from here it's a blue and you can make it red for example if you want and you have a red red on the dashboard and the car looks super super nice uh, after that but also um good moods for example you can change the moods it's winter yeah the light it's not so nice and blah 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 anyway then you have the navigation and the smart link there on the smart link guys you can connect to android auto apple carplay mirror link blah 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 it's work perfect it's it's look really nice i tell you all over the screen it's, it's fantastic and here you have the navigation and the screen that you do you see no lag at all one of the best the same as on the audi you have also here so what audi have volkswagen have skoda have so great job better price for the same 
awesome things. Also, you have all kind of option uh, inside the car. You can take the other seats. Uh, and also, I hear that you can take the ventilated seats inside this car, something that is really impressive. And this car have free zone climatic. Um, I don't know if this one have it, but you can take it as an option. So guys, that was the review interior exterior with the new Skoda Octavia Combi uh, to the 2020 model. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos, guys. Um, also, thank you very much for watching. It's mean a lot for me. Uh, I have a test drive with this car. Check out on my channel the test drive. You will see there. Uh, how this car is doing on the street and wow it's nice a nice 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 car uh, i really enjoy it so guys thank you again see you soon in the next one bye guys